Hey there, Brett from Solarola. Hey, we are trimming our solar panels at this point so that we can really get the most uh, space efficient upper array. So I have to go around all four edges with the razor knife and cut off about a quarter of an inch. And because it's a Teflon coating and because that Teflon is pretty thick, it's really hard to cut. So a little bit of a pain, but um, it needs to be done. So I'm just diving into it. Measuring our distance and being very meticulous with a razor knife so as not to accidentally cut off too much or too little. As I said, it's quite challenging, but these panels are really gorgeous. Okay, I'm cutting out my first um, aluminum cross section, which is gonna be um, this is going to be the curve of the top of the, the panel array. Alright, so these are the, uh, the four arrays that are going to be kind of hidden underneath the surface panels on the top of the VW. And they are the awnings which pull out sideways. Um, so there's going to be two of these that pull out on each side for a total of, um, well they're about uh, 490 watts each, so multiply that times four, add that to the top, you get just under 3000 watts. I had to trim these panels and I got to trimming the last panel and the knife was pretty dull and I stuck it a good ways into this finger. Um, really kind of bums me out because I got a lot to do and I need this finger. However, thankfully I have Kira who just finished off this array for me. Um, classically I kind of am on edge when other people are doing things because a lot of this work you have to just, it has to be perfect, otherwise it's going to catch you in the end. So I was a little apprehensive, but Kira is pretty amazing. She's very um, particular when she does things and she was the perfect person to finish this off for me. And she will hopefully be the perfect person to finish some other things off for me too. So we've got our, uh, all of our individual arrays all uh, in and adjusted. Super nice, they'll slide out. And this is how you get 3000 watts of solar up onto a VW bus. So there'll be these that come out, one, two. This one comes out also. Okay, and then two more come out the other side. So we wanted to show you this because I'm gonna pull these out now and set them aside and finish off the rest of the cap and get it up on top so that we can get our mounts and everything completed. And so you can see the frame on top. So that's where the, uh, the fixed panels will go. So the fixed panels will give a nice little curve to shed water on top of that frame and they'll be riveted down to the frame and sealed around their edges with a cork rubber um, 16th inch, half inch wide um, gasket. Probably the most challenging part of this whole build. I mean, people have done electric vehicles before. I like to think that ours is special, but what's really special is the solar power and this array and getting basically three times the footprint of the vehicle 